new, uh, my new Costa Creations. Isn't this cool? I freaking love this. And this one I've added so many things. And I got a couple more stones today when I was at my store. I went to my spiritual store today after I went to meet my best friend, Julie, for lunch. And I picked up, um, I picked up raw jade. It's beautiful. It's right here. Raw jade. And I picked up a crystal point, a charger, clear quartz crystal. I picked up a small rose quartz and I picked up, I've got it in my bra, a big, I've got two larger rose quartz. So clearly I'm working on healing my heart chakra, right? With the green and the pink. But isn't this emerald, raw emerald, incredible? I love that. Love these colors together. So I'm be making something about that. So um, I got a new deck while I was there at the, um, hold on, let me get this so you guys can look outside. There you go. I got a new deck while I was at the spiritual shop. And um, I was just going to tell you really quick the emerald, what the emerald uh the messages for, for Emerald. It's a stone of success because of the, you think of green as the color for money, right? Um, so it's, so the, the, the metaphysical, and this is raw Emerald, clearly. I mean, we all know what a real, like a polished Emerald looks like, but it's definitely about, because of the green, it's about new beginnings, right? Song right now, it's been a hell of a ride. <laughs> it has. So this is about hope, uh, for the future, renewal, growth. This is um, a seeker of love and the revealer of truth. Love this. It's about justice, compassion, and harmony. So the, success, the stone of successful love. So getting these two together with the charger to amplify, really, really good for me today. This is about great vision and intuition. It's associated with the eyes and sight. So don't you think that's funny? Three blind mice. Not me, man. There's three people that were attached to me that were blind. They were not seeing things, but I am seeing things clearly. I've been doing a lot of blocking and deleting and canceling and moving away from any energy, energy that does not feel that it's in my highest good. Um, if, if it makes me uncomfortable, it's got to go. So I'm just, I'm protecting myself that way. So with Emerald, it increases your focus and your intention. It increases your psychic abilities and it opens your clairvoyant abilities. It's a protection against spells. And I already know that people have been doing spell work, um, binding spell work uh, against me. I know that, and I've been, as you guys know that too, I've been removing people, anybody that has anything to do with witchcraft or binding spells, I have been removing. So it's interesting that I didn't go and choose this emerald because of that. I was drawn to it, and, and then I realized that that's what, and look at the colors. See, I'm drawn to that right now. So it's healing against psychic attack and spell, bind, spell binding, um, anyone that's coming from the darker light. And uh, definitely clearing and healing for my heart. So the, the deck that I got, the new deck, let me turn down the radio a little bit. Um, don't, I'm not adding people. I'm not adding men. So men who keep adding me, I don't care how gorgeous a picture of you send me, I'm not adding you. Okay? <laughs> I'm just not. Um, um, there's just too much of... Uh, too many lies and deception going on around me right now. So what we're doing is we're working with the Akashic Tarot. And what's interesting about this is I, I haven't, I really don't know a lot for, about it. Um, I just got it and I've got to get my energy into the cards, but I, I played with it a little bit while I was at the store and I am asking that the energy be cleared from this. Um, hold on. I'm going to put it on my selenite because, um, See, this is your intention. This is what you, how your intention works with your crystals. This is my selenite wand. And I'm asking that the energy be completely removed from anyone else that was holding, holding on to the energy in these cards. And I'm wanting my energy to be put into these cards. So I'm asking for all sides for the energy to be removed. This was a sample deck that I chose. That's all they had. They didn't have... And, and my girlfriend, Sandy, um, somebody did a reading for her. And she asked me... Um, she said, I, they didn't tell me what the card was. I don't know what the meaning is for the card that I chose. Um, and so I thought I'd go and, and play with it. And the message that I got um, when I was playing with it at the shop was, you have chosen to eliminate uh, self-serving manipulative energy from your life. A person that was, was not thinking of, was thinking of only one of the, was only thinking of themselves. And you have now chosen to remove this manipulative energy from your life and you will now move forward. And I thought, damn straight. Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. Um, let's go and see. This is a reverse deck. Now, hold on. 
So it's got really, really stiff cards. And what's cool is I, as I said, I don't know a lot about this deck yet. I'm going to switch it this way and I'm going to switch it this way. And then I'm going to go like this and I'm going to switch it again. It's very hard to shuffle because this, the, the card stock is really, really stiff. But it's, it's going to be a deck that lasts. It's, it's beautiful. I like the artwork on the outside of it and the pictures I can read. So right now, you could make a sick man change his ways is the song that's playing. All right, so I, we're going to take this in the... Oh, we got it upright. Okay, so it's an interesting how this, this... God, the colors are amazing. The colors are amazing. Hold on. I got to tell you, man, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me if you're not going to speak to me, the truth to me. Don't even come near me. It's my message. And it is the loudest message. I can't get any louder than that. Don't come to me with lies and deception. I don't care who you are. Stay away from me. You will not be welcome in my energy. I'm very vocal about that. Okay. So eight of forces. And look at the energy that I'm, I'm bringing all of our colors here. All of our colors around here. So you look at this lightning bolt is literally splitting that tree right down the center. Bam. Right out of, we're straight out of heaven right down. That tree is lit up. There's stormy energy all around. Forces. The eight of forces. So, and we got this in the upright condition. So, that's what I feel like was, is going on right now today. Is, is what, it, in my energy. I mean, it's really dark. Look at that lake right there in front. Um, those clouds in the background, those are, those are like the storm chaser clouds. I mean, this is a really gnarly, gnarly storm that's going on right now. Energetically, uh, emotionally, and you, it, I don't know if you guys can see it down inside there, but there's a farmhouse to in, the, in the back, and then there's a, like a farmhouse to the right. And a, it, it's, it's, uh, it reminds me a lot of Wisconsin. It's very flat. And those are, and the song, you aren't getting over him. If you're, if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. And that is exactly the truth. And this person who was, I had this person doing stuff with me and it's like, I'm, I'm over with this. So the eight of forces in the reverse condition, the lightning bolt. I can't keep thinking about that song. Um, it says, uh, lightning strikes whenever she walks in the room, right? So this is dynamic force and energy. It might be that there's a loss. That, that has happened, like this is kind of like the falling tower, right? This is the tower striking. Um, it might be that there's cleanup that's necessary. You know, you think when you have a storm like this go through, like if you've got a hurricane that comes through here or a tornado that comes through, it sh everything gets thrown all over the place, right? And afterwards, you've got things are flooded. You've got broken branches. So right now, this is about cleaning up. It's time to maybe you, you need to pull up. I mean, that tree has been ripped right from the ground. I mean, it's literally on fire. So you may have to pull up roots and set down roots somewhere else. But it's about, it's definitely, when lightning strikes the ground, it's, what is that? The hydrogen that, that, is, that is amplified, and it, and it brings upon new growth. It literally does. So it also, it's you, your energy, your, your vital force. You are the lightning bolt. So the Spirit wants us to use that, that energy within us and, and use that force because we're lighting up. We're lighting up the heavens. We're lighting up the earth. We are, we, are, we are not going to be silenced. We are not going to be quiet. We are not going to allow what's happening to stay. This is about destructive force coming in. This is kind of like Cali, right? The ending. So maybe there's a cleanup, but it's time for you to set down roots somewhere else, new roots on new ground so that you can have new, gro new growth, right? And whatever energy comes forward with this electricity for you, it's about moving you forward, not going back. So... It's interesting that the lightning, how it, I'm just looking at how it's wrapping around that tree. So grab onto it. Grab onto that vital force within you and do what you need to do. If that lightning has struck near you, there's destruction there. So feel it. Close your eyes and feel it. Pull that energy in. What are you going to do with that energy? What are you going to create with that energy? How are you going to propel yourself forward? How are you going? You're going to set whatever choice you've made. It's now set. I, I, I'm not going to do this. The song, don't pick up the phone. Don't let him in. You'll only have to kick him out again. Don't be his friend. You only wake up in his bed in the morning. 
And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him. So it's the same kind of situation if there's a business associate or negative energy. I keep getting the same people that keep coming back to my page as different people. I delete them. I block them. So I'm not adding anybody anymore. That's, that's my answer. That's what I'm going to do. It, I'm removing it. So this is, this is spirit giving us this active force, this, this Aries fire, right? This, this Leo fire, the Sagittarius fire. Use this purposefully in your life. Where do you want to direct this energy to go? Now, eight, eight is the, is the infinity symbol. So this is about abundance. This is about prosperity. And endless supply comes from spirit. So don't feel that you're stuck in a situation. Lightning has struck. Don't let it strike in the same place twice is what just came to my mind. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Okay, these cards are pretty shuffled. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I love the colors of these cards. The color of the heart chakra and healing and the color of uh, your solar plexus. I am worthy. I am capable. I am. Love the colors of this card. Okay, the next message we have, and it's in reverse, is four of keys. Okay, let's look at it in the upright. So in the upright condition, you see a, a log has fallen down in the middle of the road, blocking their way. Now four is the number of angels. Angels are with you. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. Right? Angels are all around you. There's no need to worry. Um, so in the, in the upright condition, you've got this, this tree that's fallen in your path and it's blocked your way. But there's somebody that's come along and that guy's got an ax, right? So he's going to clear the way. So the horse is there, the buggy's there, they'll be able to move that out of the, and they'll be able to move forward. Look at the light shining through the trees, right? Your way is blocked right now, but it's not a permanent block. That you've got the axe. So basically, if it's in the upright condition, you're almost home. The light's shining through the forest. It's, it's not a dark, scary place, right? You're, you've got something to carry you. You've got transportation. You've got an axe. It's going to take a little effort. It's going to take a little time. So there's a delay. Now, in the reverse, I would say the reverse is true. The, the delay's gone. The delay is not there. Right now, they're showing you a delay. So in the reverse, the way has been cleared already, right? The obstruction that you thought would be, I mean, look how long it would take him to cut through that with that axe. He's got an axe, but they're going to be there a long time, right? Jeez, house is right there, but I can't get home. It's so close. I can touch it, but I can't get through until we hack our way through here. Now, in the reverse condition, there is no obstacle. The obstacles not there, I can get through, right? It's over there. It, the, the way has been cleared. And whatever you felt like is going to be taking a long time, it's going to be easily done. It's going to be moved away. So maybe right now, there's going to be other events outside of yourself that's going to make this way possible. Or maybe there's other people that are going to help ease the situation that you're around. Whatever the situation is, it's, it's good news. Because soon you're going to be able to free, be free to move forward, to get to home. Home is where the heart is. The light's shining. You've got everything you need. You're on your way, right? The blockage is gone. So take a deep breath in. Fill yourself with, with the love of spirit and say, I am helped. I am loved. I am assisted. I, I am met up with the right people at the right time, at the right place. And everything goes smoothly for me. All blocks are gently, easily moved out of my way. And feel that loving feeling moving through your body and around you. And feel completely supported because you are. Love that. Oh, I like these cards. I like these pictures. I had no idea that the pictures were going to be this good. And the color purple, right? Calm, energy, and the color yellow again, your solar plexus. I am worthy. I can do this. Correct your neutrality on all levels. Self-worth, self-worth. You know your own self-worth. A lot of times we're blocked because we don't recognize our own self-worth, but now, now we do. Okay, next message. I'm getting prickles for that one. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, my God. This is a beautiful card. The king of forces. First of all, I got to love the king, right? The king has reached his position because he has done a good job. He's good at what he does. He's worked hard. He's traveled. He's well-read. He's well-received. He, he knows what he's doing. This is somebody that you definitely want on your side. Amazing energy. Amazing. And look at that. He's got the stag. The stag is the same as the green man of the forest. The stag. And look at the wolf. Okay, so there's nobility. You think of the stag and it's nobility. And you think of the wolf as, as loyal and faithful, the wolf pack, cunning, able to grow great distances. And then the rabbit, creativity, fertility, fast movement. Look, and you know what? Check it out. Yeah, there's dark, dark stormy clouds there, but there's light up there. 
Look at the moon shining through, but it's all light up here. And he's got this water flowing. Oh, it's beautiful. The energy of the colors in this card are amazing. So the animals, they all come from the woods, but look at the different demeanor of the personalities of these animals. And the water would be would be flowing emotion, but it's a river. So river, when you when you go through the river of your life, um, as the river moves forward, which is forward movement, it stirs things up from the bottom and it turns over stones. So it's things are being brought to the surface, right? Things are being brought to the surface. That happens with the river. Um, he's very very calm. What's what's interesting to me is. Think about these three animals. They wouldn't normally be together in this, in this area. The, the stag is, is a strong animal, but he would run from the wolf. And the rabbit would run from both of them. The rabbit would be the prey of the wolf, and the stag would be the prey of the wolf. But they're all standing there. He is able to ma command a very calm presence amongst all of these animals, even though there's storms around him. He stands very relaxed. That stag is very regal next to him, and the wolf is like his pet. And the rabbit is very, very calm. And I'm looking at it in the background, and I don't feel that what I'm seeing in the background is dark, stormy skies. That's the, that's the cosmos. That's purple, lit-up night sky. But there's light coming from the front. Isn't that interesting? There's like, this person is connected to their higher self. He's connected to an other realms. and other, He gets messages from other, other realms, from the stars and from the other planets. He's getting messages from spirit. He's very aware because the foreground is lit up. It's all lit up in the front. And yet it's like the Milky Way in the background. It's incredible, that background. So this man is very, very connected. He's definitely in the light. He's definitely connected to his higher self. This is amazing. He's got very positive energy. So, But look at his gentleness. Can you see if I bring him forward? He's smiling. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at it. He's very, very relaxed. Look at his hand on his hip. Everyone, his sword is, is put away. He's very calm. He's very gentle. He comes with good intentions. Now you think about the king of swords. He comes forward with words that are very important. He has something to say. He's very honest. And if you don't know this man, if I know who this man represents, this man represents my twin. My twin has been called the stag. He's also been called the wolf. That's his, those are two of his totems. And the rabbit energy is fertility and moving swiftly. So if you don't know this person or who this person represents in your life at this moment, this is someone that is coming forward. This could be somebody that's going to help you with your project. This could be somebody that's going to help you with some kind of a work issue. This could be your boss. This could be, it could be just some, something in your life they're going to help you with in general. Um, he's a possible love interest. He's absolutely my love interest. He's my green man of the forest. Absolutely. This is an honorable man. So Spirit says, stay open. Keep your heart open. And, and make sure that you are emulating if you want this kind of energy in your life, that you are emulating this energy as well, honorable, someone of, of integrity, someone who's gentle and loving, who's able to lead without force but with kindness, who's able to keep the animals calm around them. This person is a vegetarian in my mind. So, so for you, or maybe for this man, there's something that's coming. Something's coming to the king of forces. There could be... Something to do with your career. Um, it's gonna, it could have to do with astronomy because of the stars. You could be connecting to the stars. It could be something to do with nature outside. It could be something to do with animals. It could be something to do with um, farming. It could be something to do with um, environmental care. Whatever activity is associated with the earth energy and with nature, anything to do with that is beneficial for you. So this is a good place for you to be. Um, whether you're a female or a male, this is showing a part of you. So if I look at this, this is me. When I look at this, I see myself. I see someone who's connected to the stars. I see somebody who loves the animals. The animals feel safe around me. They're my friends. I don't take my sword out to hunt them. I'm a vegetarian. I love to be at nature. I'm in peace with nature, right? I know spirit's got my back and I stand in the light. So I, I love this. I love this message. So do you, is this you? Or is this someone in your life that, that, they're, that they're showing you? They want you to feel this energy, feel this beauty and this balance all the way around. And all of the forces that are, that are working together, the forces of nature, the forces of the animals, the forces of water, the forces of the, of the cosmos, the beautiful growth all around. This is a badass card. Freaking love this deck. What a good idea. Thank you, Sandy, for giving me the... And song right now. I feel it coming, babe. I feel it coming, babe. I want that man. I want that man. I want nothing less than that man. 
I want the king of forces. I don't want a page. I don't want a knight. I want a king. Somebody who's in love with animals and who's in love with nature and who's gentle and kind. Who's connected to the stars and who's connected to the earth and who, who loves to be in nature and recognizes the power that comes from spirit itself and from the land and works with it. Oh, that's who I want. No one less. Whoa, that one. Okay, upside down. The divine physician. So when I look at this, I see Jesus. I always see Jesus when I see someone that looks like that. He also looks like my twin. That's very interesting. But here he is. He's in the light. And this is the divine physician. Okay, so the number six is talking about don't be so concerned with material items, material worries, financial situations, um, because you, are, you will be provided for. They're telling you to keep your eyes focused on spirit, and what you need will come to you. We already got that with the eight as far as abundance. So, in the, so if you are standing in the light, you are recognizing that everything is coming You've got the, the, the promise. Everything is beautiful. The cherry blossoms, the light. You're being taught. You're listening. You see three people here listening to someone in the light. Now, I turn this around, and this is a physician, so this is a healer. I turn it this way, and it's in the negative. There are three people, and they are not in the light. Remember I said three blind mice? So right now, maybe you're not paying attention to what is in your highest good. Emotionally, physically, spiritually. Maybe you were on the right path to healing yourself and you've gotten kicked off. Maybe you are allowed negative energy like me. I allowed people on my page that because I was misguided by a misguided sense of you know kindness. I was trying to be too nice and, and the energy was off. I knew that it was. So it's time to get back on, on track. It's time to get back on your path. You haven't been paying attention to your spiritual work. Get back to your own self-honoring beliefs. Right? Reconnect with your own spiritual gifts and be the light that you actually are. Maybe you've forgotten the power of your thoughts. Look at the lights coming through, through to his head. Maybe you're not listening to what your higher self has been telling you. You're not paying attention to the emotions and ideas that come up. There's healing that can come from the earth. There's healing that can come from you. You are the light. You can help others. You can heal yourself. Heal or heal thyself. Use the elements of the earth. Use the crystals. Use the plants. Use the animal um, interaction. Use what nature has for you. Use your own words to heal. Because this physician, he's stepping in front of you right now and he's pouring that light straight at you. And he's beaming this energy into you. Pay attention to what you're getting. This is healing light. Close your eyes and feel this. Imagine yourself standing there and imagine that light pouring into you. Because right in the reverse, no one's getting anything. One more. We're going to do one more. Right now, I've got stamina. I've got perseverance. I can do this. I can do this. Don't give up. Don't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. I'm free to be the... I'm free to be... I'm free to be, I'm free to be the greatest here tonight. Yes, we are. We're free to move forward. That's our choice. Our choice. One last message. Oops, I've grabbed two. I'm only taking this one. Seven of keys, the ascent. And look where you're at. I like this message. You're on the top of the mountain and the sun is shining bright. So seven, you are on the right path and it will exceed your expectations. This person is feeling very proud of themselves. Very proud of themselves. They've gotten to the top of this mountain. Whatever this is that you've gone through, whatever challenge that has come, you have mastered it. You have got to this place of... of of satisfaction. You've got to a place where you feel good about, about yourself. I've climbed that. I've made the ascent. And there I stand at the top and look at the, and I'm able to see things clearly. I'm able to see all around me. I'm able to see great distances. He's very, very relaxed. He's got his um, knapsack in, next to him. Look at that climb though. Look at what he had to do to get to where he's at. So where have you been? What have you gone through? Sit there and, and survey where you've come. Where, where, where was I and where have I come from where I was before? I'm now able to look out over and see things from a higher perspective. Things that maybe I wasn't able to see before. Right? Now I'm able to see all around me with clarity. Wow, so many things that I wasn't able to see before. I fell twice before. I'm listening to the song. 
I, but I won't give up. I fell twice before, but I won't give up. I won't give up. And then someone says, spirit is saying, don't give up. Don't give up. I'm free to be. I'm free, I'm free to be the greatest and the light. I'm free to be the greatest here tonight. This guy's free. He's climbed that mountain. Whatever obstacle was in his way, he's made it past. And now he's able to, to rest, possibly. Right? Maybe you're, maybe that's it. Maybe you've been working really, really hard. You've, it, it's been a long, hard road. A long, hard climb. And now Spirit says, take a breath. Take a breath right now and breathe in the fresh, clean air. Pay attention to what you have accomplished. Pay attention to what you have overcome. Take a look at where you want to go next. What's next on your agenda? Are you seeing things a little bit in a different light than you have before? What's different for you at this point? The fact that it's the number seven, that you're on the right path and it will exceed your expectations tells you something. But look how clear everything is. But you know, he's still... That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very, very slippery... I mean, have you ever rock climbed? I have. I've, I've gone up a rock like that. It was hard. I was bruised. I was cut. It was really, really hard. What's on there? The keys. The keys. The keys. I'm looking at what's on his, on his outfit. So, the keys... The ascent. Seven of keys. So a key opens the door. So the rope, the rope, he needed that rope. That was part of the, one of the keys he needed to get to where he was. The rope and that, and that, um, what are they called? They, they dig in the side of the rock. He, he couldn't, he couldn't just throw a rope and get up there. He, it was hard work. He had to work really hard. If you've ever done that, I have done that. It's fun to rappel down, but on the way up, oh my God, great effort. Absolute determination. That's, that, that's the message for um, <laughs> uh, Emerald in front of us as well. And clearly it was risky. So the risks that you had to, to, to go through to, to get to where you were at, you, you could have slipped, right? So maybe you're about to be promoted. Maybe you've come to the top of your field and, you, and you're getting a raise. But the message here is, you didn't get this by sitting on your ass. Big dogs riding for free aren't getting this. This is you doing the hard work. This isn't luck. This is you and your own heart's work that has brought you to whatever it is that's coming. So, the Spirit's telling you don't, don't slack at this point. You're not gonna slack. You're at the top of that mountain. You still have to get back down, right? So you gotta keep your efforts strong. If you haven't gotten to this place yet, you're, you're there. You're climbing to new heights. Spiritually, um, physically, emotionally, mentally, in your field. You can reach this top. You've got the tools that you need. You've got everything you need to get to where you're going. And even if there's risk in front of you now, Spirit is saying, you have the keys. Seven keys. It will exceed your expectations. Even if it feels risky. You're going higher. You're going way higher. You're about to be elevated in some amazing way. So I'm going to leave that with you guys. I hope you like this deck. I do. I'll talk to you soon.